Hey, good day everybody and welcome. Steve from Open Bomb. And uh, in this video, I'm going to bring you the September 2021 release of Open Bomb for QuickBooks. And there's some exciting new features in here. Uh, the most important thing is being able to choose which properties and values you send from Open Bomb over to QuickBooks. Like, there's a lot of configuration that may go on on the QuickBooks side. I'm not going to dive into that, but uh, let's let's just go through the high level and see what the new features are. So. Uh, we're going to start by, of course, being signed into your QuickBook instance. There's a number of different ways, of course, that you can do that, but go ahead and, si and sign in. And I'm going to be working with the OpenBOM demo data. So I've found the, uh, the popular demo wireless router, and I've opened that bill of material. Uh, we're going to flow down through you know, purchase order here in just a minute. So from that, from that bomb, of course, we, uh, we create an order, and, and from that order, we have vendors and other things assigned, and, and ultimately, we, uh, we create purchase orders from that order, and here's what, that, uh, you know, here's what the POs for that wireless router look like, and I've got POs for a variety of different uh, suppliers. So let's take a look at the Octopart uh, purchase order, and I've got that on the screen. I'm ready to send this over to QuickBooks. I'm going to use the QuickBooks uh, export button up here and choose my, uh, my QuickBook in instance. Again, yours may be different. And this is what, what's new now. You'll get some new UI where I get to choose which properties I wanna send to QuickBooks. Now, I'm just gonna choose them all. Um, only those properties that are defined in QuickBooks will be sent. So I go ahead and click on, click on export and OpenBOM will send those, uh, send those items and those uh, property values over to over to QuickBooks. So here we go. I just created a purchase order for Octopart. I got the total amount and I brought over those three items with their descriptions and their quantities and other information things and pricing over to, over to QuickBooks. You know, that's awesome. So what also happened is that for any of those items that did not exist in QuickBooks, we went ahead and created them as inventory items in your uh, in your QuickBooks inventory account, you can see that that information came over here. Okay, so that you know that's terrific. Let's let's do one more thing. Let's go back here and say, look, you know what? I don't want seventy four of those. I, I I really need a hundred, and I need you know seventy five. You know, I've done a little cleanup here. You know, maybe there's something else that I that I need to order from uh, from Octopart. Maybe just some you know some tape and. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a put in some cost here, and I can put in some other information. So I've added an item, and I've changed some information about some existing items. Let's go ahead and send that update right over to QuickBook over to QuickBooks. We're going to go through the same process again, and you'll see that that PO in QuickBooks will update with the uh, the new information that we sent, and it, and it will also get the new item that we added. So let's take a look at that here. And here we go. We see we've got uh, the new quantities came across and we also added that new line item here for tape. And then finally, if we went back over and looked at our products, uh, our product inventory, we would see that uh, uh, we made those updates there and we added that, added that line item for tape. So I hope you all find that really useful. That's in the September release. Always love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.